last will and testament of when the sea will give up its treasure and Jesus awakens the dead it's there that you'll find me Patrick fighting against the color that is red from all that is once was evil the swines who polluted the world please don't keep me waiting the rapture begins to stir she's she's your creation she she's the essence of love she she's a movie sensation she she's a goddess above here I go, but I don't know why My sense is just losing control Here I go, but I don't know how I feel like rocking so Cause she, she's your creation She, she's the essence of love She, she's a movie sensation She Others picked up their weapons and scrambled quickly back to their feet. Bring Chain here, Rayford said again, pointing to the ground beside where he sat. Now! Another few minutes of those who had missed the stand back on the ground. This time, Dane Chow fell too. So farewell, my fellow brothers. Tim Finnegan has bitten the dust. To be born again, you must die, children, and hope that your name is not cursed. So slowly, silently, now the moon walks the night much too soon. This way and that appears in its seas Silver fruit upon a silver tree One by one Basements catch Beams beneath A silvery thatch Crouched in a kennel Like a log The last will and testament of the dark So farewell, my fellow brothers. Tim Finnegan has bitten the dust. To be born again, you must die, my children, or your name will always be cursed. Submit yourself to salvation. Submit yourself to the Lord. For he was the one who walked on water. The blood that was spilled for love. The blood that was spilled for love. Chow had no choice but to submit to the demands of the two witnesses. But later that day, his spin doctors made it sound like the two men were just free on bail the time. There was outrage from some that a dangerous hijacking suspected should be allowed to run free. But Deng Chow insisted that everything was under control. Of course it was, except that he wasn't the one holding the controls. For the next six days, Chaim and Rayford spent most of their time in the area around the Temple Mount, where they were able to address large crowds of people. It was early December and the weather was cold but the two witnesses stayed out on the streets, sleeping in shifts. They had accumulated a few rags, bits of firewood, and other materials to insulate themselves against the cold. They kept a little campfire going overnight on the pavement where they slept. 
Whichever one was not sleeping would stay awake to mind the fire and to address the crowds. Throughout the night, people gathered to gawk at them and to listen out of curiosity to their pronouncements against the Deng Chao government and against those who had put their faith in it. Twice, someone had tried to attack them, and twice, the attacker had been destroyed by fire. <laughs> 